Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can become a millionaire fast and easy with the new nightclub additions that Rockstar have just added. So just like the executive branch, Rockstar is sort of given a facelift and a refresh to the nightclub division, and they've added a lot. And not only does it keep the nightclub business a little bit more exciting, especially for us veteran players, but it also makes it really easy to make money. We're going to be diving into all of that in this video today. So for starters, two new nightclub management missions have been added. Now, these nightclub management missions are essentially just going to increase your population. So in order to access these, you basically just go to the computer up top and then you do nightclub management. And you guys can see, I haven't been to my nightclub in a while, so my popularity is kind of all the way down. But you can also see that the safe capacity has been increased too to $250,000, that's really nice. So these club management missions are very easy. Again, they're going to depend on what Tony actually gives you. Mine was to simply drop some flyers off all the way around the map, and then that obviously increased my population. So that is pretty much same old, same old, but there are two new of them, so that does get you kind of spiced up a little bit. There's also two additional new nightclub managements that will occasionally trigger inside of your nightclub. So essentially what you'll be doing here is you'll be dealing with paparazzi infestations, bouncing troublemakers from behind the velvet rope, chaperoning intoxicated VIPs. The one that I ended up getting, I had this guy was at the front of the bar and I got this text from my bouncer, Marcel, who was like, hey, boss, we got a customer kicking up a fuss over his tab. He's causing a scene with the staff on the lower bar. I suggest we cut our losses and show him the door. I'll be there in a second. And then you basically just walk up to him and eject him. And you, Marcel, just lift him up like a mattress and you toss him out. And you guys can see there that it also increases the nightclub popularity, too. So doing that is so easy. Honestly, that is even better than the nightclub popularity missions that you have to access at your computer. So the more of those you get, the better. I don't know how often they spawn in, but they will definitely happen often. Uh, it didn't take me long until I actually ended up getting mine. Now, another nice quality of life feature that nightclub owners have is you're going to have Johan as a phone contact. And you can actually call him to launch new nightclub goods missions to acquire goods for the basement. And you can check the stock level and value. So this is nice. Now, basically, you can be on the road and you can check how much you've got going on at your nightclub. So I've called Johan here. You can see that my current stock level is one because I just sold some, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. You can also see the value, which is very, very low. And if I request nightclub goods in about a couple seconds time, he's going to come up with a mission and then you can collect some goods for your nightclub. It's that simple. It's that easy. You can do it on the go, which means you really don't have to be tied down to your nightclub in order to keep your business up and running. And that's really nice. So this is incredibly convenient. And Johan's kind of sassy when he talks to you on the phone. So that makes things even better. Now, nightclub owners can also call Tony Prince to launch nightclub management missions from the road. So you don't actually have to do them from your nightclub per se. And you can also request a nightclub limo and check the current club popularity. So once again, I wanted to try this out as well to see what it would do. I called Tony. You could see that my current population was at 50% which is nice to know, and you can also request a club management mission. Now, you can also request a limo. There's two of them that I could get, a Shafter V12 or a Patriot Stretch. I thought we were going to have a limo ride with Tony Prince. It's not that. It's just a phantom car that gets delivered to you. There's no Tony Prince in sight. I mean, it does have his license plate on there, which is kind of cool. But at the end of the day, it's not like you get some one-on-one -on -one time with Tony Prince. So it's not really the most effective thing. But it is still a nice quality of life change that Rockstar introduced. Now, where things get really juicy for the nightclub owners is the first time payout boost that Rockstar are giving out. So for nightclub owners, all business battle goods are going to contain triple the usual amount and will return to normal rates after your first sell mission is completed. And speaking of your first sell mission, remember that each business will be rewarded double the usual money payout. 
So for your nightclub stuff, this is very important. You want to make sure you are selling the maximum amount possible. Now, in this video today, I don't think I had the maximum amount, but I just wanted to show you guys for the sake of this video that getting it doubled is absolutely insane. So for this instance, I had a, a decent amount of goods. So I said, all right, we're going to go do this. Me and my friend Samuel hopped in the MTL Pounder Custom, which is, by the way, the worst vehicle of all time. This thing is so slow. Now, I'm probably a terrible driver, too. I'm not putting all the responsibility here on the truck, but this thing is a hunk of crap. It's absolutely terrible. Thank goodness I had my friend Samuel here. I got this thing stuck like 17 times. It was probably the most frustrating thing ever. But it, relatively speaking, it's an easy sell mission because you get to do it in an invite-only session. And when this thing was all said and done, remember that I only had $1,877,500 worth of goods. When I ended up selling this guy at the very end, I ended up getting $3,555,500. That is an absolute ton of money. And remember, I probably could have gotten a little bit more but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in a mission. So definitely make sure that when you sell your nightclub stuff, it's at its maximum possible level. So what my recommendation would be is take advantage of the business battles that are gonna be going on. They're triple the usual amount and will remain triple until your first sell mission. So basically just use the business battles as a catalyst to get a full nightclub all the way around. Then do your first sell mission, which is gonna be doubled, and you're gonna make serious bank. Now, you can do it in an invite-only session, or you can do it in a public session, whereas we've talked about in previous videos, the high demand bonus for completing sell missions in a public session that have rivals have been increased, so you can make even more money. And don't forget your associates too, they are going to get more money just for being around you, and they're also gonna get an increased payout for taking part in the cell missions. So here's what my recommendation would be. If you've got friends that aren't far along enough to get started on this, just bring them along. They're gonna get a lot of money just for being your bodyguard or associate in this, and they're gonna be getting money for the cell mission too, which is really gonna help them out along the way. So that is how you can become a millionaire fast and easy with the brand new nightclub facelift business in GTA Online. It's sort of an updated money guide for 2022. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of the nightclub business after the latest DLC? Good, bad, somewhere in the middle? Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.